way. All right. Huh? Let's put a pause in right there. The wind completely destroyed the audio for this video, so we're going to start voiceovering now. Let me try and match up with my lips here real quick. Let's uh, rewind that back a little. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. All right, quiet on the set. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going today? I'm Blake with Level 2 EV. Today, we're going to be installing the Tesla Model 3 mud flaps here on our 2020 Tesla Model 3. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in depth, just in case the instructions weren't clear enough, or you want another look at how to do it before you buy. I'm here to help you guys out. Let's go ahead and get this started. Roll the intro! Oh wait, that was ad-lib. Alright, so here we've gathered everything that you're going to need to be able to install these mud flaps onto your Tesla Model 3. You can see here that we have the front left and the rear left mud flaps. We also have a flathead screwdriver. The thinner the tip that you utilize, the easier it's going to be to pop those plastic rivets that are utilized to hold on these mud flaps. Additionally, we have a 10 millimeter socket here. This is going to make it much easier to remove the bolt that's below the car. This is what's going to be used to hold on the rear mud flap. We have interior car detailer here. Exterior car detailer would be recommended. All right, so now that we know what we're going to need for this project, let's go ahead and get it installed. All right, so we're here at the front of the car. We're going to go ahead and start with the front mud flap here on the driver's side. And this is how the mud flaps are going to mount. They mount flush, just as you can see here. They have a plastic clip here at the sides. That's what clips onto the sides of the fender. We also have the two plastic rivets that help to hold it down from the bottom. And these are supplied with the kit that you can buy on Amazon. We'll have a link down in the description. We're now going to utilize our flathead screwdriver. You'll notice that there's a small notch right here in the plastic that makes it easy for you to get it out. Wedge your screwdriver between that notch and the rivet and pop it outwards. Now, once you have it off, go ahead and use your hands to remove the rivet. And finally, repeat for the other side. And now what you're going to want to do here is take your detailing spray and use a nice clean microfiber cloth to remove the dirt and debris at the fender and the wheel liner. This will help to prevent dirt and debris staying caught within your mud flap before you install it. This will also help to reduce the chance of scratching your paint. Now that we have the area clean, let's take our mud flap and begin installing it to our car. It's a very simple process. You'll notice that there's two plastic clips that align with the fender. Push firmly on that area and you'll notice that they clip between the fender and the wheel liner. Once that's done, take your two plastic clips. They should be longer plastic rivets that are supplied with the kit and insert those into the existing holes. You'll notice that the kit comes with longer rivets. Make sure that you use these longer ones to ensure that your mud flaps will remain secure. You'll notice that they pop in firmly. Once you've done that, you're done. You've installed your first mud flap. Let's move on to the next part of the car. Okay, so now we've moved on here to the rear of the car. You'll notice underneath the car, we do have a 10 millimeter bolt that is located just below the fender liner. Go ahead and take your socket set here with a 10 millimeter attached and simply locate that bolt right here just behind the fender liner. It's very easy to access and very easy to remove. Once you have that bolt removed, repeat the steps from the first mud flap and remove the plastic rivet that is located in the fender liner. Again, we'll notice that we do have those plastic clamps that snap on to the fender between the liner and the fender itself. The rear mud flap only has one push rivet that's located here at the back. And you can see here that we have the section for the bolt where it goes through the mud flap to secure it firmly. Again, spraying with detail spray, we're going to wipe it down here with our clean microfiber cloth and remove all dirt and contaminants from our paint. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and start installing our mud flap. Again, you can see it snaps onto the fender here very easily with a firm press. 
But as you can see here, we're having some trouble inserting our rivet. That might be due to the fact that the stock rivet is still in place. Don't be like this guy. Remove your rivet first. Yeah, this, this dumbass is really confused. That's embarrassing. This is a great example if you want to remove your mud flap. You simply twist it towards yourself and pull, and it should come loose from that fender clip. Now again, insert your screwdriver into the small notch that's located within the plastic rivet and pop that body rivet out. Use your hands to fully remove the rivet and we can move on with this installation. Realign your mud flap with the fender and insert the base of the rivet. Next up, take the longer rivet piece that's supplied with the kit and insert it firmly. You'll hear the pop to confirm that it is in place. Next, take your 10 millimeter bolt and reinsert that behind the mud flap. Go ahead and get it started with your hands and finish it off with your socket to make sure it's secure. You don't want to over tighten this bolt as it is drilling straight into the plastic bumper and mud flap. Tightening it too much can cause breaking or warping of your plastic. And once you have that 10 millimeter bolt secure, it is actually that simple. Congratulations, you've installed the mud flaps for the driver's side of your Tesla Model 3. Simply repeat these steps on the passenger side and you'll have a full set of mud flaps in no time. Hey everyone, this is Blake with Level 2 EV. Make sure you take the time to hit the subscribe button and enable notifications for all of our future videos. There's a lot more content on the way, such as mod installations, how-to videos, and more content related to everything electric vehicles. If you want to join us on our supercharged journey, make sure you don't miss out and follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Level 2 EV. Make sure you leave a comment right below that like button for all the things that you would like to see here on the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.